Hey guys and welcome to Hadagastro. In today's video, we will be talking about Meckel's diverticulum. So let's get started. So what is Meckel's diverticulum? Meckel's diverticulum is an abnormal sac or pouch that develops at a weak point in the small intestines, usually in the ileum. Meckel's diverticulum is also known as a true diverticulum because it contains all three layers of the bowel wall. It is the most common congenital abnormality of the small intestine and is caused by an incomplete obliteration of the vitelline duct, which is also known as the omphalomesenteric duct. So I've put in a series of pictures below and if you look at the first image, you'll see that uh, Meckel's diverticulum occurs in the ileum and I just wanted to point out that the ileum is the last part of the small bowel. So we have the duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum and Meckel's diverticulum is found in the last part of the small bowel. And we also know that the small bowel is made up of a series of layers. So this is a cross-sectional view of the bowel wall. So basically this little bit here. And we see the innermost layer, which is the mucosa. And then we have the submucosa, the muscular layer, and then the serous layer. So Meckel's diverticulum is a true diverticulum, which means that it involves all the layers of the small intestine wall. And lastly, if you look here, this is an actual image of what the Meckel's diverticulum is. So it's a small pouch that develops abnormally from the small intestine, and it is a remnant or an incomplete obliteration of the omphalomesenteric duct. And in this picture, you're able to see that it contains all those layers of the small intestine wall. So in the previous slide, we mentioned that Meckel's diverticulum occurs because of an incomplete obliteration of this omphalomesenteric duct. So what is the omphalomesenteric duct? The omphalomesenteric duct is a long, narrow tube that joins the yolk sac to the midgut lumen of the developing fetus. It appears at the end of the fourth week when the yolk sac presents the appearance of a small pear-shaped vesicle, which is called umbilical vesicle. So this is a three-week embryo, and we said that at the fourth week, we have this omphalomesenteric duct, which develops at the end of the fourth week. And you can see here in great detail this omphalomesenteric duct. And what actually happens in Meckel's diverticulum is that this fails to obliterate. So usually this obliterates and separates, and the small intestine develops further. But in Meckel's diverticulum, because this little bit stays, it causes that sort of extra pouch or sac, which is the actual diverticulum itself. So what are the signs and symptoms of Meckel's diverticulum? Gastrointestinal bleeding, which can be seen in the stool. Abdominal pain and cramping. Tenderness near the navel, which is known as the belly button. Obstruction of the bowels, a blockage that keeps the contents of the intestines from passing. This can cause pain, bloating, diarrhea, constipation and vomiting. Diverticulitis, which means the inflammation or the infection of the diverticulum and anemia. So one thing I do want to point out, because this food is normally passing through this hollow lumen in the small bowel, when the food gets in here, it's going to have a tendency to, to rot and stay in there. And because of that uh, tendency of that food to remain in there and not be able to pass through that small bowel, it causes a perfect environment for the development of an infection. Uh, the patients may also experience bleeding because this is sort of a weak point now. It's an abnormal weak point in the small bowel. And there's going to be pain and tenderness also that comes along with it. And because of that chronic bleeding, our patient may develop anemia because of that continuous loss of small bits of blood. So how is Meckel's diverticulum diagnosed? The diagnosis is difficult and tests are chosen based on the presenting symptoms. If rectal bleeding is suspected to originate from a Meckel diverticulum, a technetium scan can identify the ectopic gastric mucosa and hence the diverticulum. So basically what happens during these scans is a small amount of technetium, which is a radioactive substance, is injected intravenously into the bloodstream and it tends to collect in the area of the diverticulum. So we can see here after the immediate injection, after five minutes, after 10 minutes and after 20 minutes, you can see this abnormal area or spot that has developed and that is the actual diverticulum there. 
A CT scan can also be done and on the CT you can see this abnormal little worm-like structure that is the diverticulum. A stool smear for invisible blood which means stool occult blood testing. So basically small samples of stool are tested to see if there's any small amounts of blood in them. And finally a blood test which can show the hematocrit and hemoglobin levels which indicate an anemia. So because these children's diverticulum are prone to that bleeding and blood loss, they will suffer from some sort of an anemia. And when we do a blood test, we'll be able to see that anemia reflecting. Treatment. Surgery to remove the diverticulum will be required if bleeding develops. The segment of the small intestine that contains the diverticulum is removed and the ends of the intestine are then sewn back together. Iron supplements to treat the anemia are also prescribed and a blood transfusion will be necessary if bleeding was severe. So this is the surgical image. You can see that the diverticulum itself is resected and the two parts of the small intestine are pulled together and stitched back and this is part will be removed. And of course the iron supplements to treat the anemia. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you would like to download a copy of this presentation, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.